Sai Ram. My humble pranams to the viewers of Sai Shankara channel. In the last episode, you just heard about the young lad and we also saw how Chand Patil was stunned when the young lad called him with his name because in that particular village nobody had the guts to call this Chand Patil with his name because he was in a great position he was a village officer so nobody had the guts to call him with his name but when the young lad that is this fakir when he called Chand Patil immediately Chand Patil turned towards him and saw the young lad sitting under a mango tree this is what we saw in the last episode so i told all of you to think about the question what the young lad would have asked chand patil so when chand patil came towards this young lad who was a fakir immediately this fakir asked chand patil hey chand patil why are you having this saddle on your shoulders chand patil when when he heard this question Chand Patil became very sad. He told this young lad that the saddle was of his mare that was lost some time back. Chand Patil loved his mare so much that he couldn't tolerate the sadness. Immediately, this fakir told Chand Patil, Hey Chand Patil, don't worry about your mare. Then Chand Patil told this fakir, No, I searched for my mare every single place that is possible. But... I couldn't find my mare and I cannot tolerate this sadness. Then immediately this fakir told Chand Patil, Don't worry Chand Bhai, just go to the pond that is here. He just showed a pond. This fakir showed a pond that was just nearby and he told Chand Bhai, Chand Bhai, go to the pond, you will find your mare. Then Chand Bhai told this fakir, That is not at all possible because I just came from the pond and the, the, my mare, I couldn't find my mare there. Immediately, Chand Patil told this fakir, My mare being in the pond is not possible because I just came from that place. Then the fakir told Chand Bhai, Chand Bhai, just go see and then get back to me. So, just because this fakir told him, immediately Chand Bhai went to the pond and there the wonder of wonders happened. He, Chand Bhai, went only few minutes back, but he couldn't find the mare there. But now, after the fakir told him, he went to the pond and he saw his mare there. It was so, so, so stunning for him because only few minutes back he went there, he couldn't find his mare and now his mare was there. Immediately, when Chand Bhai found his mare, he along with his mare came to this fakir. Chand Bhai then told the young lad that you are not an ordinary person. You are a great saint. You have some immeasurable qualities with you. You are not an ordinary person. You are an Avelia. Avelia is a saint. Immediately, the young lad didn't react to whatever this Chand Bhai told. But the young lad told him that now immediately I want to light up a Chilim. I will tell you why this young lad used this Chilim in the forthcoming episodes. But this young lad always wanted to have this Chilim. Whenever this young lad felt, he will take a Chilim, light up the Chilim. But what this Chanbai asked the young lad was, Okay, you can have a Chilim, you can smoke a Chilim now. But to light up the Chilim, you need two things. One is fire, another one is water. Then this young lad told Chand Bhai, that is okay Chand Bhai, we can find out fire and water. Chand Bhai told this young lad, see, to find out the fire and water here in this forest is impossible as you don't have fire or water anywhere here. Then the young lad told Chand Bhai, Chand Bhai, worry not about the fire and water. So this Chand Bhai was inquisitive. How this young lad is going to find this fire and water here? So this young lad had two things with him. One was the prongs. That will be like a knife. All of you know about it. And the another one is the satka. He, this young lad, he will always have the satka here. Wherever this young lad used to travel, he will always take the satka with him. 
So you see in the screen, no, this is what is called as Satka. So the young lad was having these two in his hand. What he did was, he took his prongs, he took the prongs, thrust it forcibly into the ground. There came out the live ember. John Bai was shocked. How is this possible? Can anybody just when thrusting a, a prong forcibly into the ground, can we bring out fire? Which is not possible. So he was stunned. Chan Bai was stunned. Okay, then next thing what he wanted was the water. Chan Bai was thinking, how is he going to bring about the water here? Immediately when he was thinking, when Chan Bai was thinking, this young lad took his satka again, thrust it forcibly into the ground and there the water began to ooze. And the second time, Chan Bai confirmed that this young lad is not going to be an ordinary person. He should be a saint. So he was stunned because to light up the chillim, these two things we wanted. That is a fire and water. Fire is to light the pipe and the water is to wet the piece of cloth from which the smoke will be drawn up. So now he got the fire and water. Immediately, the young lad started to use the chillim. Then he smoked. He gave the same chillim to the Chand Bai who was there. Then Chand Patil also had a smoke and he was talking to this young lad, telling him to accept the hospitality because Chand Bai invited this young lad to his house. This young boy, he will never accept to anybody's request, like coming to their home, coming to this place, etc. But when Chand Bai told him to accept the hospitality, the young lad also accepted. That is because Chand Bai told him that his wife's brother's son was going to get married. And the bride was from a village called Shirdi. This is what Chand Bai told the young lad. So the young lad accepted this, his hospitality and went to Chand Patil's home. There, they all gave him huge respect. Everything, the dinner was served to the young lad and they all started to the marriage party. The function was in Shirdi as the bride was in a village called Shirdi. So everybody started from that Aurangabad to the village called Shirdi in the Tonga. That is a horse. So, in the horse cart, like a bullock cart, everybody started there in the Tonga and they all proceeded towards the village called Shirdi. In Shirdi, even today, there is a temple called Kantoba Temple. You call it as a Kantoba Mandir. Generally, in north, they say a temple, they call it as a Mandir. So, even today, you can see this Kantoba Mandir and in the screen, you are seeing a temple, right? That is the Kantoba Temple. So, everybody, they all went towards the village called Shirdi and in front of the Kantoba Mandir, the Tonga stopped and everybody descended down from the Tonga. So, from the Tonga, one one person, each and every person descended down and then when every person got down, the last person to get down from this Tonga was this young lad. Seeing this young lad, the Kantoba temple's priest called Mahalsa Pati ran from the temple and when he saw this young lad, he reacted so much from this bottom of the heart that every person there was shocked. How does this Mahalsa Pati, this temple priest, know this young lad? So until then, keep thinking about the welcome, the great welcome that the young lad had from this temple priest called Mahalsa Pati. Waiting to meet you all in the next episode. My humble pranams to the lotus feet of Sai Baba. Om Sai Ram.